Welcome to All You Need To Know About Imaging This or That. In this quick video, we're going to give you some tips and tricks to help you get the best possible image for this target. Let's go! So you're going to find M4 in the constellation Scorpius. The Scorpion. Ooh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it is located just 7,175 light years away, uh, making it the closest globular cluster to Earth. Pretty cool. I mean, that still sounds far, but... It is within the molecular cloud complex Rho Fuji, and not too far from other objects, uh, for example, the bright star Antares, uh, M80, and M107. The best time to capture it is in summer. It does have a magnitude of 5.6, which makes it pretty bright. And it's also as large as the moon, so you can capture it with any telescope. If you use one with a short focal length like we did at 350 millimeters, you'll be able to fit Antares in there also, which is really nice. Yeah, because you can see so much nebulous gas all around Antares. I like Very that. Very cool. So this is M4 by the Hubble Space Telescope. As you can see, it's mostly made up of blue and orange stars and does not appear super compact like some other globulars. You can also image this target with a DSLR or a cool camera, and it doesn't need any specific filter. As a starting point, we suggest taking 30 seconds to one minute of exposures and then spend at least one hour on it. The more time that you spend, the more that you'll be able to pick up the gases from around M4 and Antares. So this is a broadband target, so if you are in a very light polluted zone, do your best to spend as many hours on it as possible to get rid of all the noise. We spent just 1 hour and 15 minutes on it using the following settings, and here is our final image. So this is a great target, um, both for beginners and advanced. I think for a beginner you can get just the globular cluster itself, uh, but if you're an advanced... Uh, you want challenge? If you want challenge, you can really go wider and try to get as much gas as possible from Antares in the area. I think it's one of the best targets for uh, summer. summer. At least one of the best globulars for summer, for sure. Uh, we plan to re-shoot uh, this target soon and hopefully make our image much better because this was uh, kind of old in just one hour. It's not... time for a redo! Yeah. That's the best part about Astro is you might have done it once, but you probably have gotten better since then. For sure. And now it's, it's your turn it. to capture it. Do it. And so, we hope that this video helped you kind of understand this target a little bit more and prepares you on how to image it. We would all love to see your image, so if you'd like, you can click on the target on our website and attach your image in the comment section. We would love to see it. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks.